Welcome on in for today's video I'm going to be walking you through the step by step process on how to set up your Google Home Hub. Now it comes with instructions but they're pretty basic. It's only two steps. So I found the process to be a little bit more in depth than that. So if you're having issues setting this thing up or you just want the full walkthrough, that's what I hope this video can accomplish. Now you want to make sure that you have the power cord as well as the Google Home Hub device. Those are the two key ingredients to get things going but you're going to plug the power cord into the wall as well as the other end into the back of the Google Home Hub device. And also on the back of your Google Home Hub, you're going to see that there's a little switch and that turns the microphone on and off. If you don't want your Google Home listening to you, you can switch that microphone to the off position. But once you plug it in, it's going to go into the boot up phase and it'll get to this page that eventually says get the app on your phone. So now I'm going to switch over to my phone and take you into the next step in this process. Over on our phone, we need to make sure that we have the Google Home application. It should look something like this. If you don't have the Google Home app, you can download it in the Play Store or in the App Store. Now, if this is your first time using the Google Home application, you're probably going to have to go through a little bit of a setup. But after you set everything up, it takes me right here to the Discover page. It has one device found. We're going to click on Set Up under that one device found, and it says Nest Hub Found. That is the device that I'm setting up. So I'm going to click Yes, and then it's going to connect to the Nest Hub take a little bit of time and then it'll be connected. Now we want to make sure that we have the same code here on our phone that shows up on our Nest Hub, making sure that lines up exactly how you see it on your phone. And then after that, we're going to say, yes, I'm in on that page. And then we're going to click on what room that we're going to set this device up in. And then after that, we're going to make sure that we're connected to our particular wireless Wi-Fi router. And we're going to click next after that. And then it's going to go ahead and connect to our Wi-Fi and eventually it should reach a page that says connected. And now it says before using your Google Assistant, you can read through these different parameters here. But after you read through those, we're going to go ahead and click on next. And then it says just a sec, your assistant will be right with you. So now we're going to go through a phase where it's going to ask if we want to turn certain features on or off. You can read through these for yourself. I recommend turning everything on. It's going to give you the best experience possible with your Google Home Hub. So we can click turn on on this page. And then we say, yes, I'm in for this one. And again, you can read through these if you want. But to get that best experience with your device, I recommend turning these on and saying yes that you're in to the different parameters that it asks you about and then at this point we should be good to go for now we're going to go back over and take a look at how our google home hub is doing at this point in time back over on our google home hub it is going to go through its update and installation page after we get it set up with the internet this will take a little bit of time it kind of depends on how fast your internet connection is and then after it does all that it'll go through its reboot phase and after this it's eventually going to get us to a screen that's going to give us some more instructions so after this, it says we're almost done and we need to finish set up in the Google Home app. So we're going to go back over to our phone and finish up that process. Now back on our phone, we launch the Google Home application again. And essentially what we need to do at this point is set up a voice match. Now I've actually already done this because I have other Google Home devices that use Google Assistant. So I've already gone through this setup process. But basically what it's going to do is go through these few different pages here and then it's going to give you some lines to read and then once you read those lines it's going to acknowledge your particular voice so that you can use your google assistant the best way possible so you work your way through that read the lines and then you should be good to go and now we're going to wrap things up taking a look again at the google home hub device now to wrap things up on my end, you need to click on finish setup on your Google Home Hub and then it's going to take you through its own tutorial. I definitely recommend paying attention to what it has to say, giving you some useful insight and tips and tricks and hints on how to use the Google Home Hub. And then also at the end, it'll show you the different gestures and things that you can click on with the screen or just how to use the device in general. Definitely worth your time going through and getting all this helpful information. But that's going to wrap it up on my end, guys. I hope this was helpful in terms of walking you through to set up your Google Home Hub. Consider subscribing to my YouTube channel, and I hope to see you guys back here for future videos.